muchachos. Hey, yep. welcome back to our stupid racks of Corbin. It's called Synonyms. You could follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you, dude. Support us on Patreon, follow us on Twitter, subscribe, like button. Uh, I don't believe in synonyms, so. Oh, wow. Uh, today, we have a food video. Deadly Indian street food from Chennai. Do you dare? Do I you do. Dare. Do it again. Ooh. Oh. Uh. Moaning. Yeah. Yeah, but that's always off kilter now. I got a left nip that's hard as a rock and a right nip that's as soft as a pedal. It's kind of how my nuts are. Here we go. Weird. In this video, we'll explore Chennai's most dangerous street food creations. In this video, we'll explore Chennai's most dangerous deja vu, deja vu. street food creations put together by some of the city's boldest vendors. But first, let's back up. Okay. Indian food is a roller coaster of flavors, where butter flows like a river, where spices ignite a culinary fireworks show. When it comes to sweetness, oh. well, it's a treat that'll turn any taste buds into disciples. <laughs> Today, we're diving into the daring Whoa. dishes of Chennai, dishes that are as risky uh. as they are delicious. <laughs> From the bone-in curry that conquered Singapore's heart. It's a dish that you'll never forget and you keep going back to it. To the cheesiest, heart-stopping dish that, that redefines the term comfort food. It's Whoa. called cheesy bag with overload cheese. That was too Get much ready cheese for high-stakes no. thrillers of the culinary world right here I'm not in Chennai. Kind of melted cheese. You're a fucking dick. Our journey begins at a stall in the heart of Chennai, serving up a local fiery noodle favorite. This stall's signature sauce is no joke. It's the Chuck Norris of condiments, ready to roundhouse and kick your face with flavor. I read chilies, soy sauce, and an army of Sichuan peppers. Prepare to have your taste buds turned into firecrackers. Oh. After the Burmese military took charge in 1962, nearly 300,000 Burmese Indians decided to return to their roots here in Chennai. And boy, when they came, they brought back more than just memories. Among their gifts to the city was Otto, a dish that screams fusion in every colorful strand. Mm. This dish is an adaptation of a popular Burmese noodle salad. That looks amazing. Featuring a mix of shredded veggies, vibrant orange noodles, and a plethora of Indian spices, all amped up with Sichuan sauce. Oh. We start yes. by placing a glorious mountain of shredded cabbage on the tawa. Sprinkle in some salt, red chili powder, and garam masala. Top it with sliced red onions and mix. Oh, Crack in around 10 to 15 chicken eggs. Thinking. Then introduce those bright Burmese orange noodles. Scoop in a generous amount of Szechuan sauce and chopped fresh coriander. Mm. Then add the ghee and mix it well. Oh my stars. Top with fresh coriander and a slice of fresh lime. Despite the salad's prominence in this dish, what you get is an explosion of flavors. Those crunchy noodles get cozy with the zesty shredded cabbage while mingling with a bold mix of spices. The Sichuan sauce is, however, the is real game changer. Its spicy kick creates a tantalizingly like addictive taste that'll keep you reaching for more. Let's just blame it on him. Good start. Coming up next, we'll explore a staple in Singaporean cuisine that has intriguing Indian roots. It's a curry made from the most unexpected body part. No, it's not the ankles. No, it's not the elbows. I'm talking about the fish head. It looks like it has a little bit of glaucoma. Get ready for a dangerous, bone-filled food adventure. Oh, yeah. I don't want to know. Pacific's fish head curry is a delicacy. It's not even eaten by everyone. My wife was would enthusiastic and, and I'm passionate about seafood. 
the amount of fish stock and the broth and the flavor mm. of the meat and the bones uh. of the fish head is really unique and very, very yeah. delicious. So yes. people yes. keep enjoying yes. it. Wow, Holy that's fish. amazing. So one of the key processes that means sati, what we do is we still cook all our curries in a sati, which is a clay pot, and that preserves the flavor. Secondly, our priority ingredient in our curries is tamarind, which, and hence, because of that, our fish curry is very unique Ma and it holds together even after so many years. Curry, a megastar in South Indian cuisine, <laughs> has earned its frequent flyer miles, jet setting across the globe. From Japan's tonkatsu curry to the spicy Jamaican curry goat, and let's not forget the culinary legend that is Singaporean fish head curry. This mouth watering delight wasn't just born anywhere, it was the brainchild of an Indian chef back in the 1940s. Here in Chennai, it's a beautiful mix of Chinese influence with a massive of fish head and no, vibrant spices from eat. India. Drizzle some sesame oil into a pot and sizzle those mustard seeds, fenugreek, and a secret stash of spices. Add a handful of fragrant curry leaves Not and a punch pops. of fresh garlic. Then comes the red onions, turmeric powder, and diced tomatoes. Now for the That's magic. Crazy. A dash of rock salt and a pot of tangy tamarind water turns this into a flavorful stew. Now it's time for the entire fish head. And here, the more forehead, the better. Cook for 10 minutes and serve. Oh, that looks amazing. It looks disgusting. Tasting this dish is a culinary adventure, a daring question. journey through a Look labyrinth of bones to uncover <gasps> the sweet, succulent mm. meat bathed in a that robust, was, spicy curry. Disgusting. The rich and tangy broth, infused with oh, aromatic yeah. spices, envelops the tender I fish head. Fish it's head. a full-blown symphony of flavors, <laughs> where heat, zing, and savory goodness play in perfect harmony. That looks glorious. 420, wow. Blaze it! Coming up next is a Chennai specialty that'll set your taste flood for blaze. It's a dosa, seasoned with podi idli, a gunpowder seasoning made from the most fiery chilies in town. If you're up for a heat wave on your palate, this one is for you. It looks tasty. Presenting Ghee Podi Dosa, a fiery mm. twist on the classic dosa from southern India. This variant is generously coated with gunpowder spice, a blend of black gram, sesame seeds, and the spiciest dried chilies in the region. Spread the dosa batter in small circles across the tawa. Sprinkle a mix of diced onions and fresh coriander on top. Next, generously sprinkle the gunpowder spice over each mini dosa. Then a splash of ghee or clarified butter is added to each one for that perfect sizzle. Put them over and add another drizzle of ghee for that he extra golden crispiness. Glory. Yeah, Johnny, I'll just make rice with some ghee and a little salt. She's got Don't me now judge a book by its rice. cover, especially when it comes to this dosa. Like as safe as it may seem, one bite will unleash a fury of India's most fiery chilies. A hydrogen bomb for your palate. The that, crunchiness of the good. outer layer balances everything together I and provides much needed, satisfying, delicious relief. Mm. 72 cents. Can't get a gumball for 72 cents here. Seriously. In many places, white bread may just be seen as empty carbs. But in India, it's transformed into a potentially deadly yet heavenly treat. Picture this, deep fried bread torn apart, generously soaked in a spicy curry and topped with a succulent deep fried chicken leg. This oh, is the Lord. kind of delicious danger you'll encounter in Chennai. <laughs> Meet Pori Chop Parota, famously known as the Flaky Ribbon Pancake. This unleavened flatbread, made from maida, an Indian white flour, boasts a unique texture, perfect for sopping up rich curries. Its roots trace back to Jaffna, Sri Lanka, before spreading across the Indian subcontinent. 
to start, fry up numerous pre-made Marota dough discs in hot oil until they turn golden crispy. Hand smash them to eliminate air pockets, maximizing the surface area for soaking up flavorful liquids. Next comes a few scoops of mutton curry, followed mm. by a country chicken curry on oh. top. Oh, Lord. that looks incredible. The texture is a combination of flaky edges combined with a soft and moist center that soaks up the medley of flavors. The chicken is tender, yet juicy, and seasoned straight to the bone. It will teleport you to a different dimension. Our last stop lands us at a restaurant run by a serious cheese hunter. Oh, so yeah. cheesy. This guy's cheese escapades have gone like global, chasing the most outrageous cheese-loaded dishes what worldwide. Kind of but just a warning, if you're lactose intolerant, you may just want to risk it all for this next dish. <laughs> Get set for Chennai's cheesiest creation. I love cheese, so I wanted to try it in an overloaded way, cheese. So this melted cheese sauce uh, was made by us in-house using cheddar cheese and then mozzarella and uh, so processed exciting. cheese. It's our own homemade ingredients we use. Every customer orders at least one cheese, item that has like this that. cheese sauce. You. you cannot explain it. It's so cheesy and so yummy. Get ready to meet the Cheese Band Stacked Burger. This masterpiece was dreamt up by the owner, who was on a mission to find the cheesiest burger in the world. But nothing he found quite hit the mark, so he took matters into his own hands. Start by buttering up a circular form for the patties. Stuff it with aloo tiki balls, made from a mixture of potatoes and peas. I'll show you some aloo tiki balls. Add more butter to the patties, then give them a flip. Top the patty with a slice of cheddar cheese, and then slather it with the restaurant's secret cheese sauce. Now it's the bill. Cheese. Top the fine. burger bun with caramelized onions, followed yeah. by our two potato patties. Mm. Squeeze another layer of mayo over the patties and close the burger with the top patty. Serve with fries on the side and a final glaze of secret oh cheese sauce. Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> Well, this burger is a cheese tiki, lover's like dream come nacho true. Buttery tiki, an oozy blend favorite? of cheeses, no, crisp oh, lettuce, okay. and mayo team that's up nacho. for a mouth-watering, indulgent cheese. flavor fiesta. Good lord, how do you even eat that? 420, blaze it. After exploring Chennai's top five most tempting, yeah, dangerous street foods, for me were, it's time to pick the one that will most ones. likely replace my Jack Daniels addiction. Was it the spice-packed Otto, the decadent fish head curry, the flaming mm. hot ghee podidosa, the flaky poricha parota, or the indulgent, downright irresponsible cheese stack burger? Today, my favorite has to be the paricha parota, that flaky fried bread generously coated with flavorful curry and crowned with a giant fried chicken leg. Good it Lord. doesn't get any better than that. that now, which one of these amazing. would you pick to be your next obsession? Let us know your top pick downstairs in the comments below. And for I more indulgent India street last. food videos, <laughs> be sure to subscribe to Best Ever I Food India. Thanks. Bye. Elevate your style oh, yes, with our yeah, brand yeah. new clothing collection. Melted Rock cheese. out in our threads, feel oh. the thrill I mean, of culinary adventures, and nacho celebrate cheese. with us in style. Nacho Head on over to Beffers.shop today. That's nacho cheese. That's like pure Velveeta block cheese. Yeah, it's like just here. pure processed garbage. I'm sure that's not processed. No, cheese. that's probably real cheese, but so. I'm not. I just. It's like a lot of people want to have broccoli with melted cheese all over it. Shoot me in the foot. Broccoli's too good to cover with that broccoli crap. Broccoli is delicious. Ugh. I will also eat it with cheese, though. No. Yep. You ruin it. You ruin the broccoli. No. Nope. There's there's literally nothing. I don't... I never order anything with melted cheese sauce on it. I rarely order anything with cheese on it. Because if I'm going to eat cheese, I want to have cheese on, like, a blue cheese. Like a charcuterie board kinds of cheeses. Those are my favorite yeah, cheeses. you don't actually or like cheese. I will get... A, a breakfast thing from Starbucks that has the brie and the cheddar in it, and that that I like. But melted 
cheese poured over things just clogs my arteries looking at it. Well, your opinions are shit, so yeah. well, that's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I would try that in a heartbeat. Mm. Uh, it looks absolutely delectable. The, the 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 noodles in the beginning looked also those look absolutely fantastic. Yes. I wouldn't eat the fish head. I, I don't. Oh, I would. Eat I can't the fish do head. that at all. I would. I would uh, gladly eat the fish head. The I went after the fish and head. And the spicy too one, hot for yeah, me. yeah, that would be tough. But the one that had the like the leg on top. The leg. Out. Yeah, there were there uh, were at the least lactable. three for me that qualified as a. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. And if Andrani made it, the oh, fish. Oh, Andrani. The fish head, and then after you go. Pondu exactly. Pondu yeah. pondu pondu. Yeah, she Is that would. After you like eat dinner that she made. Pondu, pondu pondu. She has. Pondu. I gotta tell you, she had never really cooked before, till she got here. That woman is one hell of a good cook now. Wow. I mean, sh everything she makes is really, really good, and some of them are spectacular. Yeah, she's, she's an, uh, uh, of course, uh, and it's not just Indian things that she makes, because she makes a lot of Indian different things that are just spectacular. She said she's ready to attack. She wants to make a biryani. Last night she said that. Um, I made a biryani. I know you did. You said it turned out pretty good, but it it's, it's a lot it's a of work. That's what I. That's what I said to her. It's it a, a lot of work. Very babe. long process. <laughs> My uh, sister-in-law's family, so her husband and children, not her, but they don't like butter or cheese. They like don't like, like, at, like butter or cheese, like like at all. Why? <sighs> I have no idea. Makes no sense to me. I understand people who have to avoid it because they no, either have an no, allergy no, 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 or no, 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 it's nothing like that. They don't like butter. Butter. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. That's very strange. Wow. They don't eat cheese on their burgers. They don't like now. See, I most most burgers, I want a slice of cheese on it. Like if I most burgers, most things I want a I want slice cheese of cheese on, on. but uh, and cheese. and I like I like to have cheese obviously on say a pizza, and I like shredded parmesan on pastas, but I'm not a big mac and cheese fan at all. I always feel disgusting after I eat mac and cheese. Once again, your opinions are shit. So these it's just lining up. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, under under hun. Yeah. yeah. You, you it's it always up. the wise person who says that if I disagree with you, your opinions are shit. Such wisdom. Well, since I'm always, since I'm never wrong, true. It's that's the case. I, of course, uh, I've never been wrong in my life. So yeah, like, so facto, your opinions. You should shit. run for president. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, we need more people like that running for president. Who they never do anything wrong. It's always a winch hunt, and it's always they're being accused of something wrongfully. You'd fit perfectly in that category. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Uh, would you also do what all of our stupid politicians do is that when they run against people and they would bow out, they then endorse the person they've just been ripping for the past six months saying is a piece of crap and shouldn't run our country, but they signed a pledge. I don't endorse anybody because everybody else is terrible except for me. So you wouldn't sign a pledge? No. Yeah, neither would I. It's bullshit. Yeah. I hate um, that crap. It's idiotic. Stupid idiots. But anyways, phenomenal videos always. Looks so good. I'm so hungry right now. I know I am too. Uh, let us know what other food videos we can react to <laughs> down below. And if that was Rohan. Just